Society won't look the same way in 20 years' time as it is now. It's really vital to engage the children and help them to understand that uh, there are major challenges facing the world, but they can play a practical part in providing the solution. I think the uh, work they've done at St Cullum is exemplary. We've accomplished many things. We've got a wind turbine, the solar thermal, solar panels, we do recycling, a garden. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> the children have been integral to everything that we've done. You need everybody on board in order to make that journey happen. It's totally now embedded within the school in everything we do. So we are continuing with our topic where we're going to put a new wind turbine in our school grounds. The renewable energy messages are very important and they're part of the curriculum, they're actually built into the curriculum. On the field today we've been measuring how fast the wind goes to decide where to put a wind turbine. Year 5 we've got a project going on for kit cars We built the cars just to show what's possible in the future with electric cars and alternative fuels and um, it gives the chance for the children to have a bit of fun and race them against other schools as well. It's not just the things you can see, the wind turbine, the solar panels, it's teaching our children about what's important for their future and for the future of our world. We're here to work with you guys and explore how we can best look after this, what's this. Planet Earth. We have a world pledge and a school pledge. Our school pledges are to use wind and solar power, print less, use less, support charity on Care Day, pick up litter and tidy up, turn the lights off, recycle our paper and things, and keep learning. The school shows that not only are there big issues out there, but there are real things that we can do in our everyday lives that can really make a difference. They can take those lessons home and uh, show their parents, the parents are engaged on this issue, the governors are engaged, and those, that sort of understanding spreads throughout the community. It's not just about getting the word out, it's being very active. Our children have been out to our local supermarket recently. We've come out to the, the local co-op to find out how the community has taken on board uh, reducing their carbon footprint. We've clearly done a lot at school and we now want to promote it within the community. Do you turn off the tap when brushing your teeth? No. Do you use energy efficient light bulbs? I do, yeah. Do you have a condensing boiler? I'm not quite sure on that one. Clearly, they didn't know what a condensing boiler is. So maybe we could bring somebody in to explain that and why we should be actually putting them into our homes. Often it's, the interest is there, but it's, it's showing people the practical solutions. How do you do it? And this is where St Colin Minor has, has, has tackled all those things. We've done workshops in school for other schools to spread the word and to help them on, to start a similar journey. It's really important to get that message across that they can do it as well. We have links with schools all over the world and that encourages our children to think globally about how other children across the world live and how they use energy. We've been on the computer with our friend Tom Jolly in Peru. This is a tiny little example of what you guys have bought for, for that school in Peru. We've helped them raise money for their new solar showers and new solar ovens. And they can have warm food without using energy. People are poor in Peru and we need to help them. They're learning to be global citizens which underpins all the work we do. I'd hope that even if in a small way we're having an impact on people in other countries as well. We ought to be better able to drive forward sustainability in Cornwall and elsewhere. This school has really taken the initiative, taken the matter into its own hands and really grasped it and, and driven it forward. And we're really keen that the lessons they've learnt here are uh, replicated not just in Cornwall really, but around the country. I think every school should do this because it is so important. And we can save the world. The world would be a better place to live. Solar panels, solar panels, power the lights in the classroom. Solar thermal, solar thermal, heat the water for our kitchen. Wind turbine, wind turbine, power the lights to keep us bright.